artist, and I work at General Mills in the factory. Well, I grew up in Cedar Rapids, basically. I went to Kennedy High School, and then uh, I went to UNI, uh, University of Northern Iowa, my first year of college. Okay. I finished up at Iowa, so I, I went three years at Iowa. I liked Iowa a lot better. I got a, a degree, my uh, BFA in ceramics, and then I minored in uh, photography and metalsmithing. Just from, from pretty young, I, I liked making stuff. And my mom used to take me to the art museums and stuff around. Uh, I remember her taking me to Cedar Rapids Art Museum, and then there was a potter, um, Marsha Myers. She had a place called the Wooden Wheel in North Liberty, um, and there was three or four potters that worked there. One of them was Michael Brandon, who's a friend of mine, who um, was the first guy I ever saw throw anything. I think I was about 12 years old, like throwing pots on the wheel, and then I also do some sculptures, some coil pieces that are handmade. They really throw cups, but I'm starting to throw bowls, and I sort of want to, um, in the next few years, phase out my factory work and replace it with artwork, so um, I'll probably be throwing more. And I know how to make pitchers and teapots and, and soup trains and casserole dishes and that kind of thing. There's a lot of work that goes into wood firing. You have to you have to cut a tree down, you have to cut the wood into chunks, you have to split the wood, you have to dry the wood, and then loading the kiln is uh, very labor intensive, so you have to wad, put wads on the bottom of every piece, and then you have to wad the um, stilts and the shelves, and so just uh, making the work and cutting the wood and loading the kiln, and then when you fire, you know, with the gas kiln it takes 12 hours to fire it, with the wood kiln it takes four days, so you have to have enough wood to throw in there for four days and then you have to get uh, two or three people so that you work in shifts because obviously it's kind of hard to stay up for four days, especially if you're doing a lot of physical work. Some of my wood fire pieces are at a uh, um, car, which is on Iowa Avenue, and then I have a bronze sculpture that I took a mold off of, one of my coil pieces and cast it in bronze, that's at the Chait Gallery. And then um, I make t-shirts too, but I have, I just did a collaboration with my housemate uh, for Revival. And uh, we took an image of his and, and put it on a silk screen and then we printed. It's a woman's face, she has long hair and then she has an owl for a head, like the top of her head is an owl. One of my professors studied Japanese pottery, and the Japanese, the Koreans, and the Chinese have been doing ceramics for thousands of years, and they call it a chop. So um, they make a stamp, and when they make a pot, they just take their stamp, and, and uh, it just takes a split second to put your chop on, whereas if you sign your name, or uh, some people don't, don't want any sort of mark, their own mark on it, but... Uh, so I, I made a chop out of plaster, and it's got my initials CD on it. It's, it's six-sided. I've had it for 25 or 30 years. So, Well, basically, you know, going to school for art is awesome. Um, you sort of have to be really motivated and dedicated to being an artist because um, a lot of people don't have a lot of money, and so... Um, kind of have to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's so tough to make a living at it, but um, there's a lot of great art out there. And I, I just say, hang in there and keep trying, you know, it, eventually things will work out.